Chapter 6, Lesson 6, The Distributive Property The distributive property combines addition and multiplication. To multiply a sum by a number, multiply each number by the number outside the parentheses. For example, the number 2 is being multiplied to the sum of 7 plus 4. You can think of it as you being the number 2 and you're going to visit your friend's house. And inside your friend's house, you have two friends there. So you being the number two, when you get there, you have to say hi to your first friend, and you have to say hi to your second friend. So that means the two has to be multiplied with the first number, two times seven, and then the two needs to be multiplied with the second number, two times four. And then whatever operation is on the inside, you just carry it over. Example one, use the distributive property to rewrite two times the sum of x and three. So the two on the outside needs to be distributed to the x, and that becomes two times x, and then the two needs to be distributed to the three, and that becomes two times three. And then whatever operation symbol is in the middle, you bring over, which in this case is the plus sign. Now we can simplify. 2x just stays 2x, but 2 times 3 can become 6. And now we could just bring everything else down. 2x plus 6. So 2 times the sum of x plus 3 is equal to 2x plus 6. Example 2. Use the distributive property to write five times the sum of nine plus x. So again, you could think of the number on the outside as you, and you have to say hi to your first friend, so five times nine, and then you have to say hi to your second friend, which would be five x, and then bring over the symbol in the middle, which is a plus sign. Now we can simplify. Five times nine becomes 45, bring everything else down, plus 5x. So 5 times the sum of 9 plus x is equal to 45 plus 5x by the distributive property. Example 3. Use the distributive property to rewrite 8 times the sum of x plus 3. Again, when using the distributive property, the number on the outside 8 needs to be multiplied with the first number, and then the number on the outside needs to be multiplied with the second number. Bring over your symbol in the middle and simplify. E times three can be simplified to 24. Bring everything else down. We get eight X plus 24. So eight times the sum of X plus three is equal to eight X plus 24 by the distributive property. Pause the video here and try these yourself to check for understanding. Next thing we're going to learn is factoring. Factoring is writing expressions as a product of their factors. This process is similar to undoing the distributive property. Example 4, factor 12 plus 8. So we want to take out a number from 12 and 8, and the number that we want to take out is the greatest common factor of 12 and 8. So first, let's make a list of all of the factors of 12 and all of the factors of eight. 
Factors of 12 would be numbers that 12 can be divided by. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Factors of 8 are numbers that 8 can be divided by. So 8 can be divided by 1, 2, 4, and 8. So now we want the greatest number that these factors have in common. That number would be 4. So we're going to factor the number 4 from the expression 12 plus 8. So by factoring the number 4, that means we're going to divide it out of the numbers 12 and the number 8. So 4 is going to go on the outside of parentheses. 12 divided by 4 gives us 3. Bring the symbol over. 8 divided by 4 gives us 2. So 12 plus 8 factored would be 4 times the sum of 3 plus 2. We can check our answer by doing the distributive property and making sure it equals 12 plus 8. So if I distributed the 4 to the 3, we would have 4 times 3. And if I distributed the 4 to the 2, we'd have 4 times 2. Bring over the symbol in the middle. 4 times 3 gives us 12. 4 times 2 gives us 8. So the correct factor of 12 plus 8 is 4 times the sum of 3 plus 2. Example 5. Factor 9 plus 21. So first we want to find the greatest common factor of 9 and 21. So first we need to make a list of all of the factors of 9, which are all of the numbers that it can be divided by. 1, 3, and 9. Next, we want to make a list of all the factors of 21. So we have 1, 3, 7, and 21. So now we want the greatest common factor between the two of them, and the greatest factor that they have in common is 3. So we want to divide out a 3 from 9 and 21, and we're going to put the 3 on the outside of the parentheses. So 9 divided by 3 gives us a 3. Bring over your symbol, plus 21 divided by 3 gives us 7. So the factor of 9 plus 21 is 3 times the sum of 3 plus 7. Example 6, factor 3x plus 15. So we want to find the greatest common factor between 3x and 15. If the 15 also had an x, then the x would be considered part of the common factors. But because it doesn't, the x is not common between both numbers. So we need to see what numbers are common between 3 and 15. So the factors of 3 are 1 and 3. The factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. So their greatest common factor is 3. So we need to divide out a 3 from 3x and 15. So we're going to put the greatest common factor on the outside, which is 3. Then we're going to divide 3x divided by 3. So 3x divided by 3, the 3 and the 3 cancel out, and we're left with 1x. Bring over your symbol. Now we have to do 15 divided by 3, which is 5. So 3x plus 15 factored equals 3 times the sum of x plus 5. To check our answer, we can take our answer, 3 times the sum of x plus 5, and distribute the 3 back in to see if we get the expression we started with. So 3 times x is 3x, bring down your symbol, plus 3 times 5, which is 15. Bring everything down, and we end up with this expression that we started with, which is 3x plus 15. This tells us that our factored expression is the correct expression. Example 7, 
factor 11x plus 55. So again, let's look for greatest common factor between 11x and 55. 11 has factors 1 and 11. 55 has factors 1, 5, 11, and 55. So the greatest common factor between these two would be 11. So we're going to divide out an 11 from 11x plus 55. So when we divide it out, the 11 is going to go on the outside. So first we have to do 11x divided by 11. Again, the 11 over 11 cancel out and we're left with just the x. Bring over your operation plus, then we need to do 55 divided by 11, which gives us 5. So the factored form of 11x plus 55 is 11 times the sum of x plus 5. Pause the video here and try these yourself to check for understanding.